Welcome to the Technology and Teaching in the Grossmont Union High School District webinar. And the purpose of this is to kind of provide an overview and a context of some of the things that we are working on at the district level. So to start off, as uh, many of you have maybe heard me say in the past, uh, we are uh, uh, trying to prepare our students for the world that we currently live in. And it's a much different world than when you were in high school and much of our lives and interactions have gone online. They are digital. Our students are interacting in a digital world, but they're not being provided a lot of guidance on how to live that way in an academic and professional manner. So that's one of the things that, that we as a district need to, uh, need to spend some focus on, spend some time on to uh, try, and, uh, try and enhance what we do to help them. Plus, all these technology tools are just another tool uh, to achieve our academic, our academic and social goals for for our students as well. So they are they are tools that can help us uh, do what we're already doing, which is preparing preparing students for life after uh, successful life after uh, graduation after they leave the Grossmont Union High School District. Throw in the fact that uh, Smarter Balanced Testing and Common Core Standards are full of uh, technology references, and and as I've been saying, I think. Uh, well, maybe these, uh, these two, uh, the test and, and the standards themselves aren't perfect. They are forcing us to do what I think is the right thing. And uh, if you look at these standards, and a whole list of them are on the, uh, the website that you can uh, go back and look at, uh, they, are, they are building uh, technology and collaboration and internet research and multimedia uh, right into right into the standards, and so here are then great opportunities for us to find tools that uh, can help facilitate this. And obviously, the Google Apps for Education suite uh, is one of the uh, the best ways to to start off with those those types of projects. Uh, the test itself is online, interactive, so students need to be able to not only interact with text and type things or write things out on paper and and in traditional books and handouts. Uh, they also need to be able to do it digitally, and this isn't a job for just the English teachers. This is a job for everyone uh, across the board, no matter what you teach. Uh, students should be interacting with text and, and analyzing it and creating a, a higher level of literacy, you know, but also doing it online. So um, they are used to this because this is how they're going to take the test, and this is how they interact with information and content uh, on their own time anyways. Uh, the blended model of uh, of teaching with technology is generally accepted as is as, uh, as one of the better approaches where you do some online and some offline, uh, and they complement each other. It's uh, generally st a student centered classroom where this is most successful, where students uh, kind of get to make sense of the information and the content that you provide them uh, in a way that uh, that they get to they get to control. Uh, and they sometimes are getting the information themselves and other times they're taking information you've provided in one way or another and, and then doing something with it at that level. Uh, the vision of uh, the district and the ETS department includes increasing access and instructional use of technology to complement uh, content standards, prep students for a digital world, and increase efficiency for everyone. And that includes uh, teachers as well. We want uh, your lives to be as efficient and effective as possible, and there's a lot of tools to, uh, to help that along. What the, uh, what the district is offering right now is a number of face-to-face -face workshops for Chromebooks, for uh, teacher websites, for ELA uh, and Google Docs, and a number of other topics are going to be offered in, in the coming months. Uh, uh, numerous online resources that are going to be found off the uh, the at UHSD Tech website and classroom level support. We're deploying over 3,000 Chromebooks and 500 teacher computers in about a 10 month period uh, and certainly that's not enough and we'll be looking to uh, expand even more as we can. Uh, we're upgrading, expanding and securing our network and Wi-Fi so uh, we all know that uh, the internet is, is key to any of these instructional goals that we have with, with the internet. Uh, everything is online and, and just our day-to-day -day operations require, require the internet and that's an ongoing, uh, an ongoing priority of the uh, Educational Technology Services Department. 
We're also rolling out Infinite Campus, which will be the new student information system for teachers. It has attendance and a grade book built right in. And then when it's time for progress and semester grades, there's just a little button that says post. You post right into uh, uh, right into Infinite Campus for straight from your grade book. And it's all one system, obviously. Uh, we have the at GUHSD tech website and blog, and we're going to be building a community of technology users through Google Plus and your GUHSD account. And so there's lots of uh, lots of things coming down, and you'll be hearing a lot more about all of them, and especially Infinite Campus as we uh, gear up and, and prep for training in August uh, before school starts. Basically, we want to support you. We want to support innovation by you and your students. We want to provide you the resources that you need and support that you need to make some of your ideas uh, come true. So if you have some, some great innovative ideas and you need some help, let us know. Uh, let your tech specialists know. Let your tech coordinators know. Let uh, your fellow teachers know. And, and let's work together to uh, uh, create an environment where uh, our students are being technologically savvy and getting great opportunities to show their own innovation. Thank you very much.